Hello, everybody. My name is Lat Mackey, and this is Sequence Break IL. A look at speedrunning, game development, content creation, and everything in between. Thanks so much for being here. Thanks for hanging out, liking, sharing, whatever things you're supposed to do with social media stuff that I'm really bad at. Anyway, <laughs> but thank you. I really do appreciate you uh, watching and liking and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I'm really excited to chat about this. So this is mid-December of 2022, and winter... Power Up with Pride 2022 just wrapped up, and it is one of my favorite marathons and one I will continue to support as long as I can, as <laughs> long as it exists. It is a wonderful event, and I, I guess the best way to describe it is to just to read what exactly their mission is. Power Up with Pride, benefiting the LGBTQIA plus charities featuring LGBTQIA plus speedrunners. Basically, it's a it's a marathon. It's not always speedrunning. In fact, it's it's very much evolved into something that's not just that's more than just speedrunning. But it, it it is a a community driven event started by LGBTQIA plus uh, runners and, and marathon organizers for the community at large. And they've been doing it since 2016. And you can imagine over that uh, course of time, it's pretty amazing what they've been able to do. Uh, the recent one that just wrapped up, Winter Pride 2022, uh, raised a little over 10,000 bucks, which is just like crazy in three days. And that brings their donation total. They have a little tracker if you want to go see over $138,000 they've raised for LGBTQIA plus charities. And I think that's probably the way, one of the ways, there's a couple ways that I, I remember hearing about Power Up with Pride. And one of them was through the Trevor Project. It's been an organization that I've supported for a very long time. As long as, I shouldn't, I don't know if it's a very long time, but as long as I've known about it, which it feels like it's been about 10 years now, I'd have to go back and look, but something like that. And this is a charity that does some really important things for at-risk youth and it, it Right on their website, it says for LGBTQ plus uh, youth. And basically, I just feel like they're an organization that's saving lives and doing their best to try to do so, especially for those that are at risk for whatever reason, uh, for just being a person of the LGBTQIA plus community. And so important work and important money that needs to be raised for it. And this is a group of speedrunners and, and, and marathon organizers that got together to host a charity event. And I, I'm probably found that the um, the marathon maybe through uh, one of the Mario speedrunners. I honestly can't remember exactly how I found the charity event and then also got involved. But uh, since then, I, as much as I can, I try to submit runs to it when I can. Um, my first run, I was actually looking back at it because I'm not quite remembering everything about it. But my first run that I did was uh, Winter Pride 2018. I remember this very well. I'm not sure how the, the Bonk's Revenge run that I did went, but it was the debut of Memory Tass's uh, brand new Bonk's Adventure Tass, and we hadn't had a Tass for the game in nine years, and she went and just Tass the whole thing and it took months I'm, and she debuted it at Winter Pride and I just it was the coolest thing to see it for the first time ever she didn't show it to me or anything like that even though I was allowed to provide some commentary on it and uh, it's still one of the highlights of some things that I've gotten to do it's still something I remember to this day and uh, you can go back memory task we actually talked about all about bonk uh, in, in a very early episode but uh, for this one I really I think it's it's I think it's really amazing how marathons and charity events get organized and then actually keep going because I'm sure you're all aware of this, but it's a tremendous amount of work behind the scenes. And for an event like Power Up with Pride, it's 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 all volunteers. You know, nobody's getting paid to do this, and so people really give up significant portions of time, uh, not just for the event time itself, which is a three-day non-stop event, but also for uh, organizing all the stuff that happens to happen beforehand, restream, restreamers, uh, games committee, you know, putting together schedules, looking through all the submissions. It is just quite an amazing amount of work. And so, as always, I'm curious how something like that gets happened. And so far, one of the common themes has been with all of the event organizers that I've ever had a chance to talk to on the podcast. It's like, yeah, we were just sitting around one day, <laughs> had this idea. Let's uh, <laughs> let's just let's just start a marathon. You know what? That can't, that can't be too tough, right? Let's go see what happens. 
<laughs> and that's the interview that I'm going to share with you today. Uh, Selling is one of the uh, event organizers and was there at the very beginning. And it was great to sit down with her. This, uh, this conversation happened back in June, nine, uh, June of 2020, and it was episode 27, so quite a bit ago at this point. And it was just fascinating hearing all of Allie's stories and how she keeps it going, you know, how the thing keeps going today and where it started from. And I, I really never get tired of hearing these stories, and I think they're important stories to share. So if perhaps you're, this is something that you want to consider yourself or something you want to support, or you're just curious, how the hell do these things happen? It is a great story to hear and to follow. I'm not going to share the whole thing, just going to share a clip for this one. And then if you want to go listen to the whole episode, please do. It's got one of my favorite uh, intros of, of all the episodes I've ever done. So it's a, it's a great little uh, interesting behind the scenes. And uh, without a doubt, I do want to say uh, congratulations on, we raised another $10,000 for charity uh, for the Trevor project, which just, I mean, you, you got to be proud of that. Uh, I didn't get a chance to watch too much of the marathon, but I did see the Packland race and got to give a shout out to my fellow Packland runners. It was a lot of fun. And uh, they did the whole damn game, the whole darn game. And uh, it was, it's, it's, the fact that there's three people running Packland, uh, the whole, all the, the, the entire game, which it used to just be a four trip. The moon category is always for a long time in the uh, half the game. Uh, it really makes my heart go pitter patter. So, okay, let's get to this. Uh, I hope you enjoy. And if, if, if this is something you're interested, please go back and listen to the entire episode. It's, it's a really good conversation. This is episode, a clip from episode 27, all about this starting. How did it get started? What happened? What did we do? T Allie, tell us the story. This is power up with pride. For anyone that's been on Twitch for a while, uh, you know that if you look at charity content, there's there's one major there's one major field of charity on Twitch, and it's you know it's not bad, but it's just that's how it is is cancer. That's right. You know, most charity events on Twitch are cancer related. You know, like St Jude and stuff like that. And then you have like that's the big one, and the other ones are like you know like. Uh, stuff like, you know, like MS, like multiple sclerosis or doctors on board or stuff like that. And it's just it, the charity, the charity spectrum of Twitch was not very diverse whatsoever around this time, which was like, I think 2016. I'm bad at remembering years. <laughs> <laughs> Some time ago in the past. <laughs> yes. So through speedering, I end up meeting a whole bunch of new people. And I become friends with, as as they are named in chat, <laughs> XCOGS. Um, and it turns out a whole bunch of us are in Ohio. And so um, the a, a uh, so a bunch of people start putting together a speedrunning event for Ohio. And we, um, you know, a bunch of us go to it, and we're all hanging out and stuff like that. And I start talking to uh, Cogs, you know, about this stuff that I've been thinking about. And it, um, and it basically just was like, why don't we just do something? <laughs> <laughs> How simple. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of like, it's kind of one of those hindsight things, but it's like, it, it kind of is that simple. I mean, obviously like work goes into it and stuff, but for anyone out there, if you just sit down and, you know, put your mind to something, you can do it. <laughs> I love the fact that it is that simple. Um, and I'm curious, was there any, um, did, did, could you see ahead? Did, would you, did you know or have any idea about what it takes to run an event or a marathon no, at this point? Okay. No, no, not at all. <laughs> it was a big learning process. The initial kind of like idea for the first power up was kind of more like, more like St. Jude, kind of how they run their stuff on Twitch. Yeah, totally. Where it was, you had a channel and then, you know, people just had segments where they did content. It wasn't necessarily like speedrunning focused and stuff. Like it had some of that, but it was more like freeform. That, that's one thing I know. I really, one of the things I, when I first submitted for the marathon, I noticed right away that you guys weren't just looking for um, uh, speed runs. And I'm curious, I, I wasn't around for the first one. So was the first one like that too, where you were looking for ways to just um, highlight the community? Was that kind of the original intent or is that something that developed over time? Um, a little bit of both. Okay. Um, you know, obviously it like, um, it had, you know, it had part of like people who, we're like, you know, trying to like 
you know, were helping us, you know, and stuff like that. And then there was other people like, like myself who were like, you know, trying to uplift a message and right. stuff like that. So um, what would, you know, if you were somebody were to describe, were to ask you, hey, what is Power Up With a Prior? How would you describe your event? Uh, <laughs> gosh, that's hard. <laughs> um, I guess like a charity event that has, that is firstly focused on supporting the LGBTQ plus community and speed running second. <laughs> I, I, you know, as an outsider, I totally couldn't agree with you more on that. I, I always look at it, every time I, I, I've watched the event or I've participated in it. I always, it feels like it's this celebration of pride at the same time. People, the, especially the people who are performing in it, the runners, almost everyone, sh there's so many personal stories that get shared during the event. I mean, it, sometimes it just, it breaks your heart. It brings tears to your eyes, but it's, it seems all in celebration of trying to promote the community. And I, I I'm not sure if that was the intent or if you feel that way about it at all but i know that's what i get as a, as a viewer of the event i mean i think it's definitely awesome that it that it evolved into something like that where it's just this big like like community kind of staple where we all get together you know it's very cool so, I, oh God, i'm so good no i was just gonna say so i, I like that part <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, everyone, for listening and watching. If you're enjoying the podcast, please feel free, subscribe, like, leave a comment, all that stuff people say <laughs> at the end of a video. It honestly all goes a long way to help the podcast. Thank you so much. If you want to join us on Discord, we chat mostly about food, but occasionally we do talk about the stuff that's in the podcast. The link is in the show notes or in the description. Feel free. Come on by. Join us. If you want to follow on Twitter, Sequence Break PC. Sequence Break PC. I post when I go live. It's kind of not at a set time so if you want to see the live feed of the podcast feel free follow there and finally if you want to email podcast at sequencebreakpodcast.com sequencebreakpodcast.com is also where you can find the backlog of all of the episodes it's also on youtube as well so feel free join in have some fun thank you so much i will see you in the next one